All right, guys, I'm back. I'm in the middle of recording a different video, and this has just happened. Um, I need to get this out there, so this is ridiculous. First of all, Warhawks coming out, absolutely fantastic. Uh, Devastation in the Imperial Palace interior map, ooh, really cool, expensive, and all this stuff. Um, but this is what we need to talk about. The Imperial Fist's Praetor in Terminator armor. Okay. Um... What? 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 What the fu- <laughs> Oh wait, you're serious. Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> Seriously, where did this come from? We already have this model. We have this exact model. This is this is literally the same model we have from Forge World. Literally the same model. Why? I mean, come on. I wouldn't even say it's a better pose. What is going on? I mean, if this is plastic then okay that's one thing but then we start a whole different ball game of we are waiting on praetors for half a dozen legions and now the imperial fists are getting theirs in plastic if this is plastic i don't know i can't say um the cloak's not as good by the look of it But the details on the sword, the armor, I'm sure the shields the same. It's the exact. Did they forget they released this model already? That would not surprise me. Or that they've got nothing and they're like, oh god, what can we do to get something out for this like rabid horde of people? And they decided just to repose this. Because that's one of the things you can do with CAD like 3D models. This is relatively easy if you build them correctly. You have to put like bones in them to do it. Um. But you can repose models quite easily. And if that's the case, and they're just re releasing the same model again in resin, um, in a different pose, because they've got nothing else to release, which is kind of what they did with the, uh, the Arvus Lighter, which is a whole new sculpt. It's a whole new CAD sculpt. It's not just a re-release, like I thought originally. It's got enough details to prove that it's a brand new sculpt. And there's several details on it that give the hint that it's a CAD sculpt. Which makes me think that Arvis Lighter is coming in plastic in the next two years or so, but that's beside the point. But this is the exact same miniature. If this is a resin miniature, then someone at Games Workshop should be fired because that's ridiculous. There is... I mean... You're going to redo this. This is actually a really quite a cool pose. He's got some dynamic movement. He's interesting. Yeah, the scale's a little bit off because he's absolutely massive. But he's not a bad miniature. If we're redoing miniatures already, I can think of some that could really do with some redos by now. Um, yeah. Just a couple that could do with a little better pose. You know, if we're just doing that. We're throwing this out there and we're redoing models. Okay. Um, that's enough, I think. Come on. He's old. He's tiny. It's time to replace him. He's hideous. He's diddy and ancient. They both suck and desperately need new models. 
Fuck this guy. Come on. Seriously? Yeah. Look at the cat detail on that. It's so chunky and awful. This guy with, like, his giant wizard sleeve. <laughs> wizard sleeve. Um, so he's here for the finger. Come on, what the fuck? Like, this guy entirely. Alvin and the chipmunks here. What did he take this piece of skin from? Like, seriously, what did he take that specific chunk of skin from? Because I, un unless you look like one of those American TV, reality TV stars that's like 800 pounds and she's looking for a boyfriend, I don't know a person who's going to be in combat who's going to have that much singular piece of skin on them. And this, this skull just looks like a really racist cartoon from the 1930s. It pronounces his L's as R's. Like, come on, he's got bacon hanging off of his backpack. The most static and boring person. His chainmail isn't even circles, it's wiggly lines, and it stops inside the hooks. This should have been replaced. Banana fur here should have been replaced with his random hand that just has a sword stuck in it that's not even holding the sword. This should have been replaced with its giant chunky details before these, or before the, this guy was replaced, long before it. Half of these could have been replaced with better sculpts, even better posed sculpts. Where's Sanguinius on a base that's actually usable for 90% of people. You know? Oh. Right, I was in the middle of actually making a decent video that I was looking forward to make, but um, yeah, if this is this is what's going to happen, and if he goes up in price too, because that's another thing they like to do. If he goes up in price, I will be furious. Not that I buy from Games Workshop anymore. Forge World doesn't get my money. Even at Christmas, pay, people ask me what I want from, like, for Christmas. I don't get models anymore because like, I don't want people buying them for me. So, yeah. Um, lots of different models that could have had better options than that. Um, on the flip side, if this is a plastic kit, I'm furious for a whole different reason. Um, this should not be coming out as a plastic model while we're still waiting for any of the other legions to get them. Flip side, if this had been a Salamander's plastic Praetor in Tartarus armour I would have been ecstatic. If this had been an Iron Warrior's or a World Eater's or what was it, Iron Hands yeah, I would have been fine with that but if this is plastic, it's a better model, it's okay, I'll, I'll be fine with that, but yeah, it's it's wrong, it's bad, it's, it's poorly done for the community. I can't criticise the model. I won't criticise the model. Games Workshop knows what they're doing with making models. Apart from maybe this cloak being a bit thick and some of the details being a bit thick, but that's the style they've gone for. Um, maybe these Taruges aren't, you know, why are they floating? But I can't really criticise the model, but the business decision I can criticise because it's dumb. But what I think this might be, if it is plastic, is that this would be bundled in with that rumoured box set we're getting. Because if we get this thrown in with a bunch of, you know, other things in a box set, that I could see. The only thing that stops me thinking that is they generally don't include faction specific models in box sets like that. Other than that, it's all the kill team stuff. Um, fine, okay. Um, these all should have been out a week after they came out. This annoys me because I have one I've been trying to think of thinking of selling, and now it's no longer worth any money. Um, wow, what a Sunday. Um, this is dumb. Alright, speak to you later. Bye-bye.